Okay, so this is April the 6th, and I think it was the, um, like three days ago when I planted these. I soaked them about four days ago, and three days ago I planted these, and here they are. These are probably ready to be planted outside. If I wanted to, I would like them to grow maybe about five inches tall, and I'll uh, put them out and put them into little cells of their own. <clears throat> um, so over here is some some basil seedlings that I almost forgot about. I planted these like about a month ago and they just started germinating. And um, over here is a new experiment that I'm trying. Since I'm on this hydrogen peroxide kick. <clears throat> Excuse me, um I bought these potatoes and they're gigantic. Look at the size of them. They're like bigger than my hand. So I decided that I could plant these, you know. Um, they're not organic, so as you may know, um, the potato industry does a lot of stuff to potatoes to prevent them from sprouting while they're in transit and in storage and all that good stuff sitting on your um, in your pantry so but these have very tiny little eyes that are growing and I'm gonna attempt to um so anyway I put some I put some water in this bowl and I threw some peroxide in it about a tablespoon's worth and I'm hoping that in soaking them with the peroxide that it'll sort of rev up the um, the growth of the uh, the chits and also <coughs> excuse me the soaking might also um, help to remove some of the um, the growth retardants. So, um, anyway, that's my experiment, and I'm only doing three potatoes. They're kind of green, too. I don't really like to use green potatoes. I usually would peel all that green stuff away, but they're, they're pretty green, so I don't think I'm losing too much by planting them. Anyway, we'll see how long it takes for them to start sprouting. I'm only going to soak these for about maybe six hours, because I don't want the potatoes to go bad on me. I don't know, maybe 12 hours. We'll see. Thanks for watching.